You have to trust your provider because she's literally holding a knife across your face. One wrong move and you'll get nicked. Hi, I'm Nina and I'm getting a dermaplane facial done today. My skin is really dry normally. I never go out into the sun and it flakes a lot and I have a lot of whiteheads. <laughs> my biggest concern really is the dryness and then the wrinkles forming around my eyes. My name is Alexa Yance and I am a medical esthetician at Facile Dermatology and Boutique. I have been a medical esthetician for almost 30 years now. I have done more dermaplane facials than I can probably count. Dermaplane is really ideal for patients who have very dry, dehydrated skin. Patients are really amazed at how much peach fuzz they have removed from their skin. A lot of people like the dermaplaning uh, because of the smooth texture it leaves afterwards. Makeup goes on smoother, your products absorb better. It just gives an all over better glow to the skin. I'm mostly concerned about the blade cutting off essentially the top layer of my skin. I'm gonna start cleansing. I really try to tell everybody not to talk when I'm doing this because I do have a straight edge blade in my hand, so I don't want to nick you. So, no more talking. Alexa takes the 10 gauge surgical blade and starts scraping all of the dead skin and the hairs off my face. I can see from the corner of my eye coming off in these little tufts, but it actually feels really good. We are going to proceed with the red light, which is light stim. Ooh, anti-aging. Red light therapy helps with any kind of inflammation. It also helps to uh, stimulate collagen production, as well as cut any redness within the skin. It's a great way to end any treatment. After the red light therapy, Alexa removes the goggles and then she applies sunscreen to protect my exfoliated skin from UV rays. It's like you just took off like so much stress in my life. <laughs> <laughs> After 12 years, dermaplane has just come very natural to me. I feel very confident treating patients with that surgical blade in my hand. One of the biggest questions with dermaplaning is if the hair grows back thicker or darker, and it does not. It typically grows back just as fine as it was within a few weeks. After dermaplane, I usually recommend that my patients avoid uh, any chemicals to lessen the sensitivity of the skin. I'm pretty happy with the results of my dermaplane facial. My skin feels smooth, it feels heavily exfoliated. I was definitely not surprised by how much dead skin I have on my face. I would recommend dermaplaning to anybody that I know who wants a really good exfoliating procedure. I wish I could have more cleansing, more exfoliating, more everything. I mean, it's easy to get addicted to getting a life-changing facial. Thanks so much for watching Refinery29. For more videos like this, click here. Or to subscribe, click here.